We have some breaking news right now when a shooting felt throughout the National Football League and uh, certainly right here in D.C. Just in the past two hours, D.C. police announcing an arrest in that shooting back in August that put Washington Commanders running back Brian Robinson in the hospital. Uh, Megan Rivers has been in Northeast D.C. working this story for us all day. And Megan, we understand a teenager is behind bars right now connected to all this, right? Yeah, you're exactly right, Lorenzo. Uh, Chief Conti wrapped up that news conference just before 4 o'clock this afternoon when he tells us that they have arrested one person in connection to the shooting of Brian Robinson. Two suspects remain at large, and what we do know is that suspect who is in custody was 16 at the time of the crime, has since turned 17, and he's facing a charge, assault with attempt to rob with an arm while being armed. So those charges are pretty serious charges. Chief Conti was very passionate today when he was speaking to us. Uh, he wanted to thank his department along with the connection with the ATF, but he really wanted to credit the community because he said it was tips that led to this arrest and he hopes that the community will continue to come forward. Now, Robinson was shot back on August 28th here along 8th Street just before 5.30 p.m. that day. Police believe it was an attempted robbery, but Robinson fought back some and ended up being shot. Now, we know that he has since made a recovery and is back to playing and we're happy to hear that, but there's still two people, one believed to be the shooter, who are on the run and the getaway driver. Police are still looking for him. Police just posted this new surveillance video of the suspects or the shooter and the dr getaway driver in the just in just the last hour and they need your help and everyone's help to catch whoever is involved. There was an individual, a second individual with a gun at that scene and there was also an individual who was driving the getaway car and we're seeking uh, to locate those two as well. So far in your investigation, do you believe that they targeted him because they knew who he was or did they not know who he was? We don't believe that at this point. Uh, obviously, uh, we'll continue with this investigation, but there's nothing that we have learned so far that they actually knew who he was. Well, Conti is hoping the community will continue to come forward about this case and several other cases he also spoke about today. Again, you can remain anonymous. Another alarming statistic from the chief today. He says that so far this year, there have been over 900 juveniles who've been arrested in D.C. Over 900, nearly a thousand kids have been arrested. So he's encouraging everyone in the community, especially parents, to talk to your kids, know where they are, and especially know who they are with and what's going on on their social media platforms. So again, a big story. We do know that one person has been arrested, but those two other suspects involved in this case, one believed to be the shooter and the getaway driver, are still at large and police need your help finding them. So if you have any information, call them right away. Reporting live in Northeast D.C. tonight, I'm Megan Rivers, WUSA 9. Yeah, Chief Conte reiterating that police cannot solve this problem alone. It's going to take all of us. Megan, thank you. And